एक जुलाई नौ एक सौ पचवंजा कैनेडा डे मनाया गया इस मौके टोरंटो के मेयर जॉन टोरी वालों भी कैनेडा डे के मौके से ओटावा शहर न जश्न मनाए गए जिस तुम बाद वालों पत्रकारों के गलबात की गई उन्होंने कहा कि कई संविधानिक सम्मेलनों तो बाद अठारह सौ सताहठ संविधान एक्ट तहत एक जुलाई न अठारह सौ सताहठ नार सूबे ओंटारियो क्यूबिक नोवा स्कोटिया न्यू ब्रंसकिप का आधिकारिक तौर पर ऐलान किया गया कि इस इतिहासिक दिन में विश्व कैनेडा दिवस वजू याद किया जाता है forget sometimes how lucky we are to live uh, in this great city in this great country i describe it all the time because i believe it as the greatest city in the greatest country uh, in the world and it's a day to celebrate uh, the you know the good fortune we have to be canadians and to be torontonians but it's also a day to think about uh, you know some things that have happened in our history that are not as good uh, such as the way we've treated indigenous people and i think we can uh, continue to work on that and learn about that and i think this year uh, it's a really important year to remember uh that our values are so important to us how we treat each other the fact that we sort of believe in peace order and good government because we're seeing um you know even very close by here uh, to our country uh, people's ha having their rights threatened and having their rights taken away and we've got to protect the rights we have here because we value them so much as part of our way of life and so i hope as people celebrate today they keep those kinds of more serious things in mind such as indigenous people how we can do better such as protecting the rights that we have that have been so hard won uh, for all people and uh, i just think that's an important thing for us to reflect on today but most of all i hope people are safe uh, that they have a good time uh, and that uh, everybody engages in responsible behavior because we've seen a bit of partying that gets out of hand and you know that spoils it for everybody and i just hope that that doesn't happen again and i think uh, most people have got that message and certainly our wonderful police one of the great things about canada you know and i think it's almost unique in the world but i won't claim it's the only place but here you can be a proud afghani and you can be a proud canadian at the same time we want people uh, to bring their traditions and their culture and their heritage uh, to this country and to join us in building this wonderful mosaic we've put together where what we do is we don't uh, worry about people's differences or 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 try and change people we say no we're going to benefit from who they are and from the difference uh, differences that exist between and among different canadians and we've built a stronger country uh, because we've done that and so to me to see these uh, young people that are uh, you know that are celebrating who they are that are serving our community as proud canadians one at the same time is a wonderful thing it's the story of toronto it's the story of canada more than half the people in the city were born outside of the country and thank goodness they decided to come here and make their life here when you speak with other leaders i would say around the globe for that matter is Canada recognized as as the city that we all think it is? At Toronto, I should say, re recognized as the city. I was just at the Collision Conference, which was here in our city, and I didn't travel to get there. I just traveled to the exhibition place, and there were 120 countries represented there. And Torontonians would be proud of how they heard their city being talked about if they did hear it uh, at that conference. And they were talking, yes, about they liked the way the city looked, the way, the way it felt, they liked the food, they liked the uh, entertainment. But most of all, they could recognize the diversity here, and they could recognize the values. They knew that we look after each other. that we respect everybody that we embrace everybody regardless of their race or their color of skin or their or their sexual orientation or any of those things and so people do know we're not perfect uh, we have work to do but they do know there's something special going on here and the challenge is uh, to make sure as we come out of the pandemic that we protect that uh, as we recover and that is something I'm very committed to doing because uh, you know we're not on the list of the 10 most livable cities in the world for nothing but you have to keep it that way you know any time you make it to the top of any list uh, you have to work at it to stay there and Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do as a city.